Sata. Hallelujah. Robobo Kotoria Baba Sata Rababa Kendi and Baba Baseke. Yi Baba Bashanda Mama Ma Kotore Beke. Ribia Kotore Bia Sata Rababa Bakende. Meme Meme Kende Yander Bashata Mama Makunda. Oh God Almighty, I give you praise, I give you glory. I give you honor, Lord Jesus Christ, for you are merciful, loving, and kind. There is no other God like you. You are the only true and living God. The great I priest, the great I am, the one true and living God. Hallelujah. Oh God Almighty, I give you praise, I give you glory. I give you honor, Lord Jesus Christ, for your goodness and your mercy. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord Jesus Christ this morning. <clears throat> my God Almighty, hallelujah. I need for somebody to understand, my God Almighty, that when the soul is troubled, when the soul is, my God Almighty, at a place, my God Almighty, where it felt as if it's going over, my God Almighty, into a precipice. Where it felt, my God Almighty, as if it is drowned in, as if it is, my God Almighty, being carried away by, my God Almighty, hallelujah, hallelujah, something. But, my God Almighty, what it is being carried away by, by my God Almighty, hallelujah, is not the things of God, but, hallelujah, to know that, my God Almighty, that there are forces in the midst, my God Almighty, and when God wants to fix something, sometimes it takes Take seeking. Can you all get that? Amen. When God wants to fix things at times, my God Almighty, majority of the time it needs seeking, my God Almighty. And many times we are looking to God for a lot of things. We pray and we do everything and we cry out to Him. And yes, He understands because, my God Almighty, He said we are to pray without ceasing, my God Almighty. But there is a time, my God Almighty, of seeking. And many people, my God Almighty, when God said even, my God Almighty, in Matthew 6, I did make a mistake in prayer where when I call forth my God Almighty the verse by saying Matthew 5 but it is Matthew 6 33 and my God Almighty if somebody can just read it quickly with me my God Almighty I would appreciate that in Jesus name my God Almighty hallelujah hallelujah where is sister Shavon hallelujah glory be to God Matthew 6 33 hallelujah can you just find that quickly with me right now? Hallelujah. Because people of God, we need to understand and know what it really is to see God. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus, I glorify you. Many people are getting it twisted, twisted, real twisted. Hallelujah. Is Matthew 6? Yes, go ahead. 33. Yes. Matthew 6, verse 33. But seek first the kingdom of God, and all his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Glory be to God. Yes, Jesus. Glory be to God. <clears throat> Glory be to the Lord Jesus Christ, people of God. Hallelujah. Also in Isaiah 55, 6. Let's jump there quickly. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Jesus, help us this morning, O oh God Almighty. Help us, Lord. God. Help us, Jesus. Help us, Lord. He said, He said in His Word, My God Almighty is not in in Second Peter, My God Almighty, three, My God Almighty. I believe it's in the the eighteen verse. He said, thought he, he don't want for none of His people to be ignorant. Amen. Amen. He want for none of us to be ignorant, people of God, and. Many of us, my God Almighty, we are doing things and we swear to God that we have it. We got it pat down. We got it right. When we are not not even close to what God wants for us to do. I wonder if you all get what I'm saying. Amen. I said many times we are not even close to what God wants us to do. And, you know, um, I believe God is going to speak this morning, but... The, the speak that God is going to speak this morning, I believe, 
he's going to use me, my God Almighty, as an example for every for most of the most of what he's going to speak this morning because. You all need to understand, people of God, when the Lord God Almighty has put his grace upon a ministry, he has put it, my God Almighty, and given the authority, my God Almighty, for the one that he put in position to, my God Almighty, to teach everyone. Amen. Amen. My God Almighty. Glory be yes, to God. There's a special grace that he always put upon those that he put in position. Glory be to God. And that grace, my God Almighty, must not be contaminated it must not be touch it must not be weary it must not be my god almighty hallelujah can't cheer it must not be my god almighty in nothing that the enemy want to my god have it in to bring it down my god almighty so that it can able to operate in the way that god choose for it to be and you need to understand people of god the enemy my god almighty he believe that he's sick he believe my god almighty that he love have, he, he believe that whenever you see what you all need to understand you know people of God. Satan, my God, in the midst of the, his glory in the dawning of the morning and with my God Almighty, the few of you that are online, you need, you, you need to understand people of God. The enemy, my God Almighty, is not so much at, at you all there because I am praying for you all more than even oh, I'm praying for myself. I need you all to understand that. Amen. So you see, the enemy, my God Almighty, is mostly at me, people of God. He's doing everything, everything, everything in his little dirty self. Everything, my God Almighty, that he can ever do, my God Almighty, to, to, to just get me down, to, to put me down, to see me, my God Almighty, lay down looking like somebody that is in a ring that, you know, has been fighting and the, um, the other person, my God Almighty, just give you, give me a good night knock out and knock me down but by fire by power he will not see that in jesus name Amen. he will not see that he will not see that because people of god i have a determination i am persuaded that god will see me through where this ministry is concerned where whatever whether it's my god almighty my personal life or not which i do not bring on this empowerment line because the lord god almighty speak to me in my god almighty jeremiah my god almighty 14 all the time and tell me not to bring my god almighty my 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 business on the line he told me that people of god like what whatever i'm facing whatever i'm going through my god almighty in my private life he said to me don't bring that on the line it's it's it, it, it's it, that is between me and him amen but in my God Almighty, in spite of everything, my God Almighty, pertaining to the ministry concerning my God Almighty, is people. That is what I'm to focus on. That is what I'm to bring forth. And many people don't seem to get and understand. But still yet, he always use me as an example to bring out things that need to come forth in Jesus' name. Amen. Glory be to God and I bless God Almighty that I'm, an, I'm not afraid, I'm not ashamed to do what God want me to do. Even if, if people would say, wow, can't believe that that woman, she's a woman of God and she's doing this or doing that or those things is happening to her. I rise up to tell people of God that I'm in the flesh. Amen. Yeah. I'm in the flesh. I'm, I'm human, I'm human, I'm human, I'm human, I'm human. My God Almighty, you find, you find that, um, my God Almighty, the enemy, the enemy always want to, to do some things, my God Almighty, to us, that people of God, it would shake the foundation of your mind. I wonder if you all understand what I'm saying. The thing that the enemy would want to do to us at times, it would, it would shake the foundation of our mind. And if, and if we, my God, you see, when God, when God choose you, you see what we don't understand, God, God do not call you and choose you. I wonder if you understand what I'm saying. Somebody, somebody was said, what is she talking about? There's not a person in the Bible or there's not a person in on earth that God call and choose and if you don't believe me turn your Bible very quickly to Jeremiah 1 Amen. because many people many people believe that God call them and choose them mm -mm, that's a lie nothing don't go like that I'm gonna show you the real deal people of God 
Because we need to get and understand. You see, the Bible, the Word of God said, My people perish because of what? Lack of knowledge. Lack of knowledge. We perish because of lack of knowledge. We don't seem to get and understand. God, did, God do not call none of His servants, them, nobody. My God Almighty. And, 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 and He don't call you and then choose you. You need to understand. And many people say, oh, not, nothing don't go like that. Let's, let's, um, can uh, Minister Gay help me out this trip here? Because, you see, amen. because I am behind the scene and every one of us is behind the scene. Amen. amen. Every, every one of us seems to be behind the scene because with his glory in the morning, it is a spiritual thing. If you can't tap in in the spirit, when coming on this line, you're wasting time. Amen. You have to tap in in the spirit because we are not in the same building. We are we are here, there, and everywhere. Name it, people of God. You have people in England joining. You have people in Jamaica. You have people in my God Almighty various places that joining on this line. Amen. So you find my God Almighty in the midst of everything. What happened is that if whoever or whoever is joining in, have to tap in into the realm of the spirit because you have to tap in to my God Almighty. Let your spirit, my God Almighty, get into a place where you can say, I am in the sanctuary with the Lord Jesus Christ. Not because you are in your home. That is the reason why many people mix, miss it. Many people mute their phone, do whatever they are doing and take this line as a radio. It is not a television. It is not a radio. It is not my God Almighty, whatever people seems to get in their spirit and think different from what God said it is. It is called His glory in the dawning of the morning. And it is His glory that you have to tap in. You have to tap into the glory of God wherever you is. Come on, people, give Him praise, glory, and honor for that. You have to tap into His glory. No other glory, my God Almighty, can do it. Um, um, let me, you see, what I said before, people of God, is that... We need to understand that God did not, my God Almighty, call you and choose you. Let's tap into right now into Jeremiah 1. And you're going to read, my God Almighty, hallelujah. Just read from the fourth verse, my God Almighty, the fourth and the fifth verse. Amen. Jeremiah 4, verse 4. Jeremiah 4, verse 4. Then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Jeremiah 1, verse 5. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. And I ordained thee a prophet unto the nation. Hear that, people of God. Can we give him praise, glory, and honor? Amen. So now you get it. No, can, can everyone say, I got it? Robot shall feel the Holy Ghost. God do not call people and choose them before the very foundation of your mother's womb. He choose you. Come on, people. Amen. Amen. So that is to show, my God Almighty, when God choose you, nobody can what lose you. They cannot delete you. They cannot rob you out. They cannot, my God Almighty, exclude you. They can. They can exclude you out of their spirit, but they cannot exclude you from God. Come on, talk to me. They cannot. They cannot because whatever God's do, it is it already done, people of God. And in the midst, my God Almighty, when when God have you as a servant for him, especially, let me say this to you. You see what many people don't seem to get and understand, and it is so sad because men are running after men things these last days. Come on, talk to me. Men are running after the things of men these last days because what's supposed to happen is that just like in the days of old, it's supposed to happen today. We are my God Almighty people, my God Almighty. If you notice in the book of from Genesis coming all the way down, people of God, God had was to have prophet, he had was to have certain people to speak to. to go and give message to the king to go and do this to go and do that and what happened in the midst of the prophet the prophet always have to stay before god doing what seeking his face Amen. come on people 
And it is an example also, my God Almighty, for a man or a woman that has been chosen by God. Amen. That has been ordained by God. Not by man. The reason why men have to, uh, the reason why us our leaders have to get ordained by men is because of my God Almighty. I could say it because it's because of a philosophy of men, but it's not of God. God already ordained everyone that He has chosen from before the very foundation of the womb. Thank you. Amen. He already ordained. This is don't do, um, do, um, I, 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 I sure know everyone have just heard it in the in the word here. Amen. 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 Yes. Amen. Yes. He has ordained his people from before the very foundation of your mother's womb. He has ordained. So in the midst, my God Almighty, of that people of God, you need to understand, my God Almighty. It is the will of God for everyone that he has ordained before the very foundation of his womb. To my God Almighty, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness. You all need to get and understand one of the reasons that causes my God Almighty men not to seek God face the way they are to seek it and run into my God Almighty others to hear what they have to say is because people seems these last days not to have time for God. Yes, yes, I said people seems these last days not to have time for God. I have spoken it, my God Almighty, from the year 2012, and the Lord God Almighty have me speak it every now and then to say it is not for a leader. And I'm going to say it again and again and again. It is not for a leader that God has called and put his special grace upon to be working and doing, my God Almighty, a job that is going to take them away from God. I wonder if anybody can catch that. It is, the will, it is for the will of God for, for every, for especially, my God Almighty, those that are called as a prophet. Come on, people. Yes, amen. Those that have my God Almighty, an apostle, and a prophet, people of God, those that have an eye calling upon their life to lead a sheep like a pastor, name it the fivefold ministry, name it. It is for my God Almighty, everyone to have that quality. No, 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 none of the fivefold ministry, people that is moving with the fivefold ministry, should be working. Come on, talk to me. Amen. Talking about the, the 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 pastors, evangelists, the prophet, the apostles, the teachers. Come on, people. That's the fivefold ministry. Right there, everyone, my God Almighty, should be taking out that quality time for God. If we read the Bible, my God Almighty, and see in the days of old with Moses, with um, Joshua, Jeremiah, name it, people of God. If you name the whole yard of them, Samuel come all the way down. What Anna did with Samuel when she got him, she put him in the house of God. Come on, people. Amen, yeah. She put him there with Eli so that he can able to, 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 to be led by the Spirit of God. Amen, amen. I wonder if you all understand what I'm saying to you. Amen. And you see, my God Almighty, these last days, many, my God Almighty, leaders have no time to seek God face. What many, call pe what many people call seek is like when they are praying. Just to pray is not seeking God at that time, people of God. Praying is different from seeking the face of God. Pray 
in his way, my God Almighty. You have, my God Almighty, a situation to pray about. And you're going to go, you go before God. You pray, my God Almighty, and you get up and you're going about your business. That's praying. But seeking the face of God, you have to take, take that quality time out to lay before him, my God Almighty, so that he can have control of you, not you have control of what you go to do. He has control of your entire, my God Almighty, from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Yes. And right there, seeking God's face, you get into an intimacy, my God Almighty, relationship with Him at that time. Come on, talk to me. Amen. You cannot get into an intimacy time with God just to pray. You have to get into an intimacy time by seeking the face of the Lord Jesus Christ. And many people have it twisted. Oh, I was seeking the face of God this morning. Uh -uh. Whenever you're seeking the face of God, you can't be doing anything. You cannot... Uh, you have to take that quality time out for him and seek in the face of God let me say something is not about you it's not about you doing it it's about him it's for his glory it's for his will to be done when you go to seek God's face when you go to seek the face of God, it's about Him. First to comment, my God Almighty, seeking the face of God, hallelujah. There can't be, my God Almighty, any distraction. Come on, talk to me. Seeking the face of God, there can't be, my God Almighty, any thing in the midst that can cause blockage. When you're seeking the face of God, even the very telephone, my God Almighty, must shut down. Come on, talk to me. When you're seeking the face of God, it is good for you, whoever you have to, my God Almighty, come into communication with. For instance, you know you have some people that you talk with, you do this with, you do that with, name it and what of you. you supposed to, my God Almighty, let them know. Because if they call you and they don't get you and they know where you live, they might show up. And right there, they're going to block and stop something. Come on, talk to me. Because in the midst of you shut off, my God Almighty, with the Spirit of the Lord Jesus Christ. When they come, my God Almighty, it doesn't matter what it is, you're going to have to get up. It's gonna be get you going you're gonna find yourself in a midst where you have to get up and go and tell him, Oh, I'm sorry, I did not tell you so and so on. You see, it is something for you don't have to tell them what you're going to seek God for and name it out of you. Because let me tell you something. When you're going to seek God, you don't even know what he's going to tell you. Amen. That's the other thing that people don't get and understand. There are times when you can seek God and he might not say nothing to you after all the time you're there seeking him. I want to hear what I'm saying. All he will do, he will give you scripture. You will feel the power of God. You will feel yourself wrapped and tangled up in him. You will feel, I, I can speak of myself. Because I go before God already and I seek him. And I... I heard his voice talking to me, said, my daughter, get into this scripture. My daughter, write this down. My, but the thing, you know, things that you're, you're really, your heart desire to, to hear, he said, you don't hear it. But let me tell you something. Whenever you get, out, get up out of that seeking, right there, you'll be surprised to know this. Things just start to flow out of you like a river. Things will just start to flow out of you. You will, you, you'll be standing somewhere like in the house or wherever, and you just hear the voice of God talking to you and said, Um, so and so and so needed, you know, you need to da 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 da. You need this. And he might even call one word. You probably have to look up that word as well as you have to say, God, what this word mean? He will even tell you to call somebody that even can give you the 
you know, the abbreviation for the words, name it or what have you. You will never know. This is how it is. To see, to see God's face is far away different from praying. Many people have it twisted. Many people said, oh, I'm seeking the Lord's face. You spend quality time with him. You can spend quality time with the Lord Jesus Christ. Because whenever I'm here, I get off the phone in the morning. I go and spend quality time with him. I'm, it's not seek, I'm seeking him. Because if I'm really seeking God, people of God have to shut down the phone. I have to shut down everything. And have to be in that place where my God Almighty, I can hear him. I can know that it's just me and him or you and him. Come on, people. But it have to be just you and him and you see my god almighty as i said many people have it twisted because god call everybody in his own way just as how he has created man in his own image he call everyone in his own way not because you find my god almighty you will have 50 million prophet, 50 million apostles, 50 million, name it, name it. Not because you have everybody that will have in this, you know, have the same office. I rise up to tell you all people of God, every one office operate dif different. It's not a fall of fashion things in the body of Christ. It's not a monkey say monkey do thing in the body of Christ. That's not what it's supposed to be. And many people have it twisted. Many people want to say, oh, um, let me go on the line and watch and see how this prophet operate. I think that's how I am supposed to operate. That's not true. Because everybody, my God Almighty, the Lord God Almighty, he empowered you according to your ability. <laughs> Amen. And it's not everybody ability is the same ability. What am I talking about? It's not everybody, my God Almighty, have that qualification to for God to just pour out whatever you have to pour out. The qualification that I'm talking about, you have to, my God Almighty, have a qualification where he see it fit, just like a nurse, a doctor, a teacher, a lawyer, whoever. Whenever you go, my God Almighty, to take the test, people of God, you need to understand. Let me say this to you all. Even though, my God Almighty, have many people will come out with A, it doesn't mean that everybody's get the same, the same, my God Almighty, percentage. Come on, talk to me. Amen. Amen. There is a pass mark. Everybody can do can go get to the pass mark. But there is also, my God Almighty, a level of pass mark. Come on, people. Amen. And you have some people, my God Almighty, they get to a level of pass mark. Even my God Almighty, I could say, be in my God Almighty a nurse. You can go to school. People of God, I don't know nothing. Holy Ghost is speaking. Come, so please understand what I'm saying. You can go to school and the go that you go to school, my God Almighty, you can able to, my God Almighty, get to that pass mark. And that pass mark that you get to, my God Almighty, in the midst of it, the very, the very person that my God Almighty is there teaching, the head nurse that is teaching and so forth, can say to you, oh my God, your pass mark is so big. It's so good. I think you should go. Um, can somebody catch me up now, people of God? You get first, first you get, um, for instance, some people when they go to school, they get what first? your battery you get your bachelor first and then the nurse can come and tell you to go further for what you can get your masters your masters come on people mm -hmm. i wonder if you all get what i'm saying then you can go further and get your master and then your phd and then you can go further and you get your phd D. Yeah. phd yes PhD. Glory be to God. So you see, there is also that's so when you check it out, my God Almighty, in the in 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 the body of Christ, where God has called His people, my God Almighty, where He has chosen His people from before the very foundation of the of the womb. You need to understand that is the reason why He said many are called but few are chosen. So you have to understand the chosen ones are different from the ones that are called. Amen. But the one we're talking about, my God Almighty, those that are chosen. 
the chosen ones my god almighty of god my people of god some my god almighty some people in 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 the, in, in the body of christ they becomes they becomes where they you could say they are in a high ranks come on people yeah. they are in a high ranks with god that means my god almighty there is nothing too hard for god to use them to do come on talk to me Amen. You find my God Almighty signs and wonder follow them. Amen. You find my God Almighty people of God, the things that God would do to them. I mean, it, it would blow your mind. So what I'm trying to say, everybody, even though we, all, we might have, you know, you might have 10 prophets or 10 apostles, 10 evangelists, 10 teachers, 10 pastors name it or whatever you you need to understand everybody ability is different yeah. and what causes it also is what you put in you can get just like a student just like a student is what you put in you get yeah. Some people, because they have been called as my God Almighty, for instance, as, as a prophet, or say, oh, that person is a prophet. All of a sudden, that person start to prophesy, and they did not put in anything. Okay. What am I talking about? They did not, my God Almighty. They don't even have the understanding and the teaching. They don't get the teaching. They don't whether, whether from man or from God, because you see, this, this is a two-way street. You can get the teaching from man as well as you can get it from God. But I believe every prophet must get it from God. The Holy Spirit. Yes. Yes. If you are a prophet, you must, if you are in the fivefold ministry, it must be my God Almighty in the situation where my God Almighty you must be able to choose the Holy Spirit first. Yes. Many people don't do that. Yes. Many people don't choose the Holy Spirit first. Many people, my God Almighty, they want to choose man. They want to run to this school, to that school. And I don't know how can a prophet be teached by a man. Come on, talk to me. Because there's no way that a prophet, my God Almighty, can somebody can learn to prophesy. That is a lie from the pit of hell. I got it, man. Nobody must, my God Almighty, learn to prophesy. Oh, you can become a prophet. Let me teach you how to prophesy. That's a lie. That, that's a spirit that is not of God. Amen. Amen. Because even in the midst with Samuel, when my God Almighty honor take him to the temple, you need to understand, people of God. The Bible did not even tell you that Eli taught him. The Bible said Eli was there, sit down, my God Almighty, overweighted and, and was blind. Come on, people. Amen. When he, when Samuel go to the temple of Eli, my God Almighty, as the priest, Eli, God stop speak to Eli. Come on, talk to me. Amen. God stop speak to Eli. If you get the time, you can read it. I believe it's in um First um Kings. Uh, first Samuel, first Samuel, I should say, I'm sorry, first Samuel. So what I'm saying, people of God, is that for my God Almighty, when God call, when God call you, when he choose you, he choose you and he call you. Come on, talk to me. He choose you, then he call you. Because what happened? Knowing that God choose you, he said, okay. It's time for me to call my daughter into what she's supposed to come in. Or it's time for me to call my son into what he's supposed to come in. So there have to be a you have to be chosen first. Just like if somebody, my God Almighty, with you notice with contests nowadays, like some of these singing contests that they have, you know, name it and whatever you where they tell tell the the acts in the world to to um do whatever. To, to vote for people get what i'm saying just like the election yeah, yeah look at the election the election is a vote thing some places they are they have stolen the vote where people have stealed and you know said oh this one get more than that one when it is not so name it another view but in the midst of some they cannot do no stealing it have to be straight up 
Yes, amen. It has to be straight up. So what I'm saying is that it is the vote that causes my God Almighty somebody to sit in a seat. You get what I'm saying to you? Yes, amen. So what I'm saying is that yes. God, he already, for instance, instead of saying vote, which is for the natural, God already chosen. He already chosen. And in the midst, my God Almighty, of these things, my God Almighty, you see, we are talking about seeking. Because many people, they don't seek God. Many people, my God Almighty, what they do, steal from man. Come on, talk to me. Many people don't seek God for themselves. They steal from man to have something to come forth and speak and say, God said, when they hear it from somebody else. I wonder if you all get what I'm saying. There are many people that do that. But what I was saying, people of God, many people have it twisted because seeking the face of God is far way different from praying. Amen. When you are seeking the face of God, you can't go there, my God Almighty, praying down the place like you're mad. That's not how you see God face. You make yourself available. You go before him. Yes. First to comment, you go before him. You ask him, my God Almighty, to forgive every sin, whether you sin or not. Because what people don't understand, we sin in our thought, minds, our deeds. <laughs> and whenever my God Almighty days are seeking, whenever God is calling you to seek him, it is a situation where he wants to take you to another level. It's another level where he's taking you to. Amen. Each time you see God and seek him in spirit and in truth. The reason why I said that is not everybody see God in spirit and in truth. Some people see God for the showing, for, for to, to be seen and to be heard. Oh, I'm coming from the mountain. Oh, I'm coming from there. I'm coming from. And it's not seek. They go and seek him. They go there and tell him, God, I come here because I need a house. God, I need a car. God, they don't see that I don't have a car. And they would, they would go to him as if they want to stick him up. Come on, talk to me. Yes, yes. Amen. And they would go there, my God Almighty, and they would be praying down the place like crazy. Uh uh, that's not seeking God. That is not seeking God at all. Seeking is different from praying, people. Amen. It is far way different from praying. Whenever you are seeking God, it's all about you and Him. It's all, not, not even about you. It's all about Him. But you in the midst of seeking Him. Yes, amen. Amen. It's all about Him, but you are in the midst of seeking Him. And what you all need to understand, my God Almighty, you have to, my God Almighty, know exactly what you are about when you're going to seek God. You have to know that, my God Almighty, it's not about you, it's about Him. And He must get all the glory, the honor, and the praise. It's a situation where when you're going to seek God, you have to have a humble spirit to go in and seek God. Amen. <laughs> You don't have to seek God for him to humble you. Come on, talk to me. You don't have to do that. You, you make sure you pray to God to humble you. Come on, talk to me. Pray to God to humble you. And after you get to that place, my God Almighty, you go in as a little child to seek him. You go in to seek him. You said, Lord, I am here. The thing about it is that, my God Almighty, when you are going to, when, um, before you go to seek God, as I said, you have to, my God Almighty, get read. Um, there are so many things that need to be get read, that need to get read of. Because remember, if you are clogged up, you cannot hear from Him. If you are clogged up, you cannot hear from God. Amen. 
Your mind, body, heart, and soul have to get to that place. He, what, what did he say? He said, my God Almighty, in his word, in my God Almighty, his word, my God Almighty, that a clean hands and a pure in heart shall what? See God. In the midst of seeking the face of God. You might, you, you, you will not able to see God the way I hear people say they go to heaven and see God and that's kind of puzzle me. I wonder if you all get what I'm saying. Amen, amen. I believe they see angel. Come on, talk to me. Amen. amen. Yes. People said, people said they, um, they, they, they are having service and Jesus come down in the midst. That kind, um, Jesus come down. They said, Jesus come down. He, um, he sit in the congregation with them. That kind of puzzled me because the word of God said, when he go up, the next time he's coming, he will be coming in the cloud for his chosen people. Come on, talk to me. So what, 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 what really happened there is that it's, 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 it's angel that he send in the form of him. Come on, talk to me. Amen. Yes. He sent angel. And when an angel come in the midst, angel don't, don't tell you that I'm an angel. They talk as if they are Jesus himself. As if they are God themself, himself. Come on, talk to me. As if they are God himself. There's no different. Come on, talk to me. There's no different because you need to understand that's a, that's that's a part of his purification that come down. Come on, people, to visit man in their human situation. Come on, talk to me. That's a part of God that come down. He send on an angel. But what I'm trying to say, people of God, before you go to seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness, there must not be any blemish. Come on, talk to me. Because seeking God, it's about him. It's about getting in an intimacy way with him we are my god almighty yeah. he is the husband man come on people that means he's the one that is going to take over right there not you how can you go to see god and it's about you where him is concerned it's about you going to him and said lord i come to thee Nothing in my hands I bring, only to the cross I cling. Come on, people. Only to you I cling. I cling in the realm of the Holy Spirit this morning, this time, this minute. So, Father God, take me over, do whatever. Come on, people. When you are seeking the face of God, you talk to Him. You understand what I'm saying? You talk to him. You talk to him and after you talk to him, my God Almighty, you leave yourself available so that he can come in to speak to your spirit. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. That is the reason why you can't be distracted with anything. Rabasha, Mama Kunde. You cannot be distracted with anything. Amen. You see, many people take time out for the doctor. Why? Because the doctor cannot come to many. Yes. Many t people take time out for the doctor because the doctor cannot come to many. And what happens when you're going to the doctor? It is for each and every one to take a good bath, get themselves together, make themselves presentable, name it, because you never know where a doctor is going to tell you that he has to go on your body. You make yourself, you make yourself um, presentable, name it and what of you, and you go to the doctor. When you go to the doctor, you go to the doctor, you say, doctor, I am not feeling well, I don't know what happened. I want to ask you a question, do you continue telling, doctor, I believe it's so, doctor, I believe it's that, if you my God Almighty believe it so and believe it that you, you have no need going to the doctor because you already know. Amen, amen. You already know. So right there when you go to the doctor and after you 
you say, doctor, I don't know, doctor. My feet, my, 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 my feet is paining me. My neck is paining me. I don't know what causes it. Or you can say I bump into something. Name it on one of you. Right here after you tell doctor that. Doctor is going to do what? Take you over. Yeah. He's going to take you over. Yeah. He's going to my God Almighty run some tests and do some things and name it and what have you. Yeah. The thing about my God Almighty, many of us when we when 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 many people, my God Almighty, want to see God. This is my people of God. I don't know nobody. I don't know if anybody do these things. The Holy Spirit speaking, so listen and just hear what he's saying. Amen, yes. In the midst, my God Almighty, of many people going to seek God. They just want to go and seek God and want to just get something and run, come. Said, oh, I got it, I got it, I got it. That's not how it is. You seek God for empowerment. Come on, people, to get empowered in him. Amen. That's what you go and seek God for Because seeking God is getting on another level in Him If you notice my God Almighty Listen to this If you notice with Jesus when He was in the garden of Gethsemane Jesus wasn't seeking, seeking the Father face no. He was there praying Yeah the Bible tell us that he go and pray. Come on, people. Yeah. Yeah. Amen, amen. The Bible said he go and he pray. And he yeah. pray until his sweat becomes blood. Because he was trying to pray. Yeah. He was trying to pray away things. He want to pray away things. So prayer and seeking the face of God is two different things. Come on, people. You don't go and see. You don't go and see God. God face to just pray, 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 pray. Nothing don't go like that. When you're going before, when you're going, when you before you go to Him, get yourself prayed up. Talk to me. Before you go to go before God, you pray up. You know, say Lord. I'm coming, you know, I'm, 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 wash me and cleanse me, purify me, cl clean me up, clean me up. You repent. Come on, people, you confess. You repent. Name it. You do all these things, people of God. You listen to it. When you go to seek God, you have to listen. You have to listen when you go to seek God. Because that's the time you're going. Listen to me. When you're going to see God, I want, I want to tell you something. I don't know about nobody, but whenever I am seeking God, I can tell you all these people of God. It's a situation where even my vo very voice is like it locked down. I wonder if you all hear what I'm saying. Yeah. It's like my very voice locked down. I can hardly talk. I want you all to understand what I'm saying. Amen. When, you, when I'm seeking God, I make sure I have a special book. Come on, people. Yeah. That special book that I have, I make sure I have either pen or pencil, whatever. And people of God, when I, whenever, and what, what you all have to get and understand, when you go to see God, know that Satan is going to present himself. Yeah. And where, where, where you think Satan present himself? Not in the house where you is, but he's going to present himself in the realm. In the realm of the spirit, he's he's going to try every little way to push himself in. So you have to know the voice of the stranger and the voice of the shepherd different. Whenever you are going in seeking God, you have to already come on, people, talk to me. You have to already know the different voices. You have to know the different voice. You have to know God's voice and you have to know the devil's voice. 
And let me tell you something, my God Almighty, you need to understand. Satan, I don't know about nobody, but Satan is not intelligent. I always tell people that. He's not intelligent. Satan is not intelligent. Because what he bring, my God Almighty, is the same old thing. He only tried to play trick by changing up things. Come on, talk to me. Satan play trick by changing up things. So you have to listen very cleanly when you hear something. It's just like when, my God Almighty, I was there back then in 2005. And I was there... Um, you know, always praying and I would sit down and take time out with the Lord to hear the voice of God speak to me. And I remember hearing this big laughing. <laughs> so, so I did not really have much understanding of what is happening right there. So what happened? My God Almighty, you're fine. In the midst of everything I after I came back out of what I was in with the Lord I said to this lady I said I heard the voice of God I said I heard the voice of God laughing and when I said it my God Almighty I hear um, the lady said to me do you sure it's the voice of God you hear because let me say this to you all you won't hear the voice of God laughing I wonder if you all hear what I said you will not hear the voice of God laughing. You will hear God laugh. Come on, people. You will hear God laugh. The word of God said he laugh. My God Almighty. Yeah. You, hear the, you will hear the voice of God laugh. God shall laugh at them. Amen. Amen. You won't hear God laughing, but I hear a voice laughing. That means it was a it was a voice that was continual, continual laughing in a different, different way. Yes. And I I was ignorant to everything, so I said I hear the voice of God laugh, laughing. So after I tap in and sit down there and um I said, okay, I, I think I, I need to question God on that. I need to question God on that. And people of God, as soon as I question God on that, is, uh, um, he, uh, what did I see? I see, my God Almighty, the, 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 the face of Satan show up. It's like the skeleton. And this skeleton face that show up, it was a pastor man that was following me up. Come on, people, that wanted to have sex with me. Because before he died, he was he was having a spirit of loss after my body. So that was that was him in the midst of Satan laughing. And when I see it, people of God, it was a Holy Ghost children. I start to rebuke by and cast down. Well, at the age of five, I was just like what you would say, two years in Christ, two years. Two year yeah. in Christ. So right there, my God Almighty, I learn as I go along. Yeah. I learn as I go along. It has been 13 years and something now. Next year, March the the twi um the 23rd. No, not the 23rd, the 13th is gonna be 14 years. Glory be to God, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I know that God has called me from He has called me from the age of 39 From the age of 39 He has called me Glory be to God Glory be to God, hallelujah And you know um, as, I, as I go step by step as I go step by step and in the midst of my call of, of God call me choose me and call me I I do not I do not celebrate a birthday but I appreciate a birthday can you all get that Amen. 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 I celebrate a spiritual birthday not a 
physical birthday. I, I, I appreciate a physical birthday, but I celebrate a spiritual birthday. That's what I do. And I, and, and, and one thing with me, with my spiritual birthday, I, I love to seek God because that's what I started out doing, seeking His face. Yeah. One of you all get what I'm saying. Hallelujah. Yeah. I hope I can be able to, to have Abigail on this morning because I, I need to pray for Abigail DJ, and DJ Naya this morning and also my sister. Three, three, I have, so far I have three people birthday to pray for this morning. Glory be to God. I do pray for people birthday. That's what I do. I pray for I really pray some stuff into people life and I you know if it's things need to fix if it's spiritual, physical, whatever, I do that. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. But hallelujah. Um Amen. Psalms thirty seven verse thirteen. My God Almighty. Go ahead and read it. Go ahead and read it. Yes. Psalm Psalm thirty seven verse thirteen. The Lord shall laugh at him, for he sees that his day is coming. And you need to understand he's talking the enemy right there. Yes, yes, yes. So what you all need to understand, you have to know the different voices. You have to know the different voice, people. Amen. If you don't know this different voice, you're going to come and say, God said this, God said that, God said this. And that some people get carried away saying, God said, God said, when it's the enemy speak to them. Come on, talk to me. Yeah. So seeking the face of God, you have to know the different of the voice. That's, that is the reason why, my God Almighty, uh, how could I say, a person that is person that is immature have to understand if they say they are going to seek God they have to know what they are doing yes, they have to know what they are doing because they can tap into a realm that they have no business in I wonder if you all get what I'm saying when you are seeking God you, it, it is a time where you are going to find yourself in, a, in, in many different realm but you have to know the realm that you want to stay in. When I used to, when I when I was coming up, my God Almighty, as a, as a, a a young Christian, you know, a young child of God, um, being ch chosen and called by Him to come forth for Him to use me, for Him to, you know, empower me and put whatever in me, name it and what of you. You need to understand that. Uh, people of God there are times when that's the time Satan want to act up because he's gonna do everything to get you out of what you're doing he's gonna try every little trick and every little trade so that you can be you know get confused name it or whatever you so when you're seeking God you have to come up against every spirit every spirit that you can think of you have to, my God Almighty, rebuke every. You have to rebuke the spirit of intimidation, retaliation, envy, strive, backbiting. Name it, people of God. Every little spirit you have to rebuke. That is getting something in their spirit. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And, and read that um, evangelist Proverbs 1 verse 26 go ahead go ahead I will mark at your calamity I will mark when you fear when your fear coming Glory be to God. We give God thanks for that because that's what I'm trying to say, people of God. You see, that is the reason why whenever the enemy want to mess with our my God Almighty, our our um living for Jesus and want to remind us of our past, we are to remind him of his future by telling him, God shall laugh at him, he shall mock. God shall mock his calamity. Whatever is coming to him, it shall be mocked and he shall get what he what he's not even looking for. Amen. Oh, yeah. 
Glory be to God. So, in the midst of everything that the enemy is doing, God will laugh at him. And the only way God can able to laugh at the enemy for you is when you, my God Almighty, get the, the understanding of what you're doing, seeking the face of God. I wonder if you understand what I'm saying. Seeking the face of God. You have to get into that place, people of God, where you have to rebuke. The Bible said, rebuke the devil and he will flee. Come on, people. Amen. You have to get to a place where you might go. You have to get to a place, people of God, where you have to rebuke the devil. You have to rebuke everything that you know, my God Almighty, he can bring like a blockage. Come on, people. He will bring so many blockage in your midst. Yeah. If you are not serious about seeking the face of God, do not do it. Don't do it. It is not a play thing yeah. to say you are going to seek God's face when your spirit man is full of all kind of mess. Yeah. It's not about that. It's not about that. It's not just my God Almighty for for um you to go seeking the, the face of God because you want some money. You want uh, come on, people of God, don't even go there. You pray for that. You pray for that. You pray, you see God's face for spiritual lift upliftment. Come on, people, for spiritual my God Almighty. Engagement with God. Come on, people. Amen. That's what Amen. you seek the face of God for. Amen. You seek the face of God so that you can get higher in Him. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So right there, my God Almighty, people of God, you have to get rid of the spirit of intimidation, the spirit of retaliation, envy, strife, backbiting, gossiping, name it, name it, people of God. And you, you, don't, you don't get rid of it, you have to ask, pray and ask God to help you to get rid of it. Amen. You cannot do it on your own. You cannot say, oh, I'm going to get rid of this first. God help me too. That is the reason why you need to understand that we need God more than all. My God Almighty, we need anything else. We need God more than all. We need my God Almighty money. You need more than all. You need your car. I don't know. Some people, God Almighty, help many because many many people, my God Almighty, need God more than all. Need 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 uh, material stuff more than all. They need God. You know. You know. You know. It 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 might sound funny and it might sound, my God Almighty strange to many but i know that i have a lot of need that you know personal need but i'm telling you all people of god right now i find myself need god more than how i need for my personal need to manifest i need god more than how i need my personal need to manifest and some people said me too some people jump and said, me too. I don't go by the me too spirit. I go by when that come into your spirit, you know that you're speaking the truth. Not when somebody said, you're going to say, me too. Come on, talk to me. Because as I said, it is a personal thing with you and God. Personal, very personal. Amen. It's a very personal thing be between you and God. And if you can't see that you need God more than all you need your bills to pay, more than all you need a job, more than all, you see what happened? Solomon is an example to everyone on the land. What Solomon did? Solomon go before God, hallelujah. And the go, he go before God, he go to seek God. Come on, people of God, let's jump into that. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Talk it in our part where we said, um, you better know how much a clock has strike, meaning you better know what time it is. You better know know what time it is Solomon know what time it was with him when he's when he go before God hallelujah 
the Lord Jesus Christ my God Almighty wants so much good for his people but to see my God Almighty the word of God said my people perish because of lack of knowledge and many people will say they are seeking God face and my God Almighty they go before God with all kind of mess in their spirit and they don't able to receive anything from God come on talk to me you have to go before God to seek him with a clean hands and a pure in heart. He said, a clean hands and a pure in heart shall see God. Amen. Shall see God. And many people believe that they're going to see God when they die or when they, they happen to see him come in the cloud. Name it on one of you. He's talking about every day, our, in, our, in our everyday life. We shall see the manifestation of God. Yes, amen. Yes, yes. When you have a clean hands and a pure in heart, you shall see God. Yes, yes. And, a, and a clean hands and a pure, a clean hands and a pure in heart shall see God. Must see God. Come on, people. Must see God. Amen. God. Must seek you must seek God with a clean hands and a pure in heart. Yes. Yes. Amen. Can't be seeking him with all kind of things in your spirit. No. no. What about a person, my God Almighty, that have a sexual problem? What about a person, my God Almighty, that people of God they are lying, stealing, name it, name? How can you seek God with these things in you? Because he's a holy God. He is a holy God. And because he's a holy God, whatever we are doing unto him must be holy. Because whatever he's given, he's going to give to man. It's, he's going to give it holy. Come on, people. He's going to give it in a holy way. Purify, sanctify. Well put together. Because it comes from who? The Lord Jesus Christ. Come on, people. Because it comes from the Lord Jesus Christ, so it, it has to be purified, sanctified, well put together. It can't be contaminated with sin. Oh. One of you all get what I'm saying. It cannot be contaminated with sin. It have to be my God Almighty, hallelujah, pur purify when you're going before him. It's just like my God Almighty back then in the days of old. The Bible tell us, my God Almighty, when the men of God, my God Almighty, going in to seek God, they, they have to, my God Almighty, to step into that holy place, they have to be purified. Amen. So seeking God is stepping in, is, is, seeking God is going behind the veil. Come on, people. Yeah. Amen. 